say, and it's not plagiarism if you give credit to the author. So Ernesto came up with this, and I, I'm going to read this. I think it's great. Congratulations to all my fellow brothers of the Epsilon Beta chapter of Phi Kappa Kappa on the 25th anniversary of our chapter. As one of the founding fathers, it pains me that I will not be able to be there to celebrate with you due to prior commitments. However, I want everyone to know how important Phi Ta has been to me throughout my time at Tech and how much the experience of brotherhood has positively affected my entire life. Embrace this fraternal experience and carry it with you through all that you do. Not just to look back, but use it as a roadmap to chart your path in the present and all points forward. Phi Ta means a lot to me and all my brothers. Whether I've personally met you or not, you're extended family to me. On this, our 25th anniversary, celebrate what we've accomplished and use this to strengthen the character that we all possess as Phi Ta's to take the fraternal experience solidly into the brightest, brightest futures for us all, Phi Ta. some special friends, friends that you don't call friends, friends that you call brothers. Only those, only these who have experienced the bond of fraternity can understand it. Thank you for your brotherhood. Now let us join it together tonight in the promise, never forget our, our lives are much richer by having the blessings of faith, family, and friendship. Hoorah! Bye, Tom! Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's great fun to be here. Uh, this, you may not know this, but uh, your chapter was the first chapter I signed a charter for and presented the charter to you uh, November 21st, 1987. You had a house on at uh, 1006 3rd Avenue for, oh, yeah. for a short time. And then uh, you, you grew quickly um, and purchased a home at uh, 810 3rd Avenue from a priest, if I'm not mistaken, Father, <laughs> Father Jacob. Or, uh, it was always reassuring to know that you were right next door to a fire station. Uh, the, only, the only thing that would have been better had the police been on the other side. <laughs> with great pride that I look back on your history. You know, when a chapter starts, uh, some make it through many years, like 25 years of continuous existence, some don't. Those that don't, don't because of stupid things that are done by men in the chapter. Those that do make it, like you have, usually have ingrained in the chapter uh, a mindset um, that says we're going to do the right thing. We're going to have fun, but we're going to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Uh, that's a good definition of leadership. It is the Ohio license plate from Phi Tall for Miami University. Okay, thank you very much. I'll make sure they get it. If not, they'll never know, right? Okay, I got that one right. Welcome, Perry Murphy. see friends here from, from the old days that I've seen for many years. It's been a, it's been a really fun day. Um, as, my name is Perry Murphy. I was the president of the colony when we got our chapter, when we got our charter back in 1987. The spring of 88, uh, my last semester, um, I wanted to start, I wanted to actually work out a deal to purchase the house. Didn't want to just keep renting forever. So, I put together a, a letter to, to Father Jacobs, and I put together a proposal that we would buy the house uh, at four percent interest uh, over a twenty-year plan, uh, a twenty-year payment plan. So I sent this letter to the to Father Jacobs to purchase the house, and soon after that, I got a letter back from his attorney, and uh, he said, "Dear Mr. Murphy, thank you for your offer to purchase the house." However, we cannot accept a 20-year payment plan at 4% interest. I doubt if Father Jacobs will live another 20 years. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I didn't really think about that. We had to get the house inspected. And uh, so they had this company out of uh, Kentucky 
there was an insurance risk management company that came in and uh, and did an inspection of the house. And I actually found this report in my attic, which I thought some of that was, this was back in 1989. Uh, so here are some of the comments in there. that I, Some of those I found kind of interesting. He said, uh, in this report, there doesn't seem to be anyone in charge of general repair, <laughs> housekeeping, or other maintenance. He said repairs, when made, are, appear to be made by non-professionals. <laughs> Obviously. Um, it said plumbing is old and shows signs of leaking. Plumbing shows no signs of any updating. Well, that, that's a definite true statement. But at the time of inspection, which was Halloween, <laughs> the basement floor had dried leaves on it, and he stopped representing a graveyard. Said there was cheesecloth hanging on wires on the first floor in the basement, representing a long, dark, winding hallway, and all were highly flammable. <laughs> So after this, I had to write a, a letter to, the, to John and National Headquarters explaining how we were going to fix all these problems. But it's, you know, it's easy to get a, when you get away to not stay involved, and I encourage all of you guys to really, really stay involved. Um, so it does, you know, the experiences we had and the brothership and the fellowship you create here really means a lot. So I encourage everyone to, um, to really stay involved. Everyone gets something different out of joining. For two of our members, Tyler Woody and Nick Aker, Fatah has given them the motivation and desire to excel in their classes. For other members, such as Secretary Sam Dunbar and Vice President Armand Milner, being involved in a social organization has made them more social and allowed them to communicate better with people and be more outgoing. Another feature of the Epsilon Beta chapter is service to others. In the words of the great Muhammad Ali, service to others is the rent which you pay for your room here on earth. At Epsilon Beta, we try to live by this statement and dedicate a lot of our hours to helping those in need whether that be a simple trash cleanup on a riverbank or volunteering service at YMCA Camp Horseshoe. In the little town of Montgomery, West Virginia, the days can get long and the classes get boring. Being a part of Flat Talk, for me, and probably for a lot of people, has given us a sense of adventure that is incomparable to any other. I know every day that as I walk home from class and push in the door to 810 3rd Avenue, someone will be there and something will be happening that will ease my mind and simply bring a smile to my face. There is never a dull moment in the Flatow House, nor do I believe there ever will be. The house is a place where memories are made, where friendships are built, and where brotherhood thrives. All right, we're going to do a real auction here. I'm not an auctioneer, so we're going to start this with me wandering. Scooter. $5! Scooter. $5! dollars we got to make up with $5! If I got more than $5, $5 dollars ready to be Nate, 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 Nate Dogg, you got Nate Dogg. $10! We got ten dollars. This is the auction. Whoever wins the highest bid gets to pick out as many shirts as they want for the amount that they bid for. So if you didn't go look at the shirts, I'm sorry. It's been an hour ago. Hundred. A hundred dollars. Woo! I bet he's only buying one shirt. If he's not, get that boy another beer. All right. Anybody gonna do more than a hundred? No, no, nobody's gonna do it. Hey, uh, the actors are bidding. I got ten dollars right there. Twenty feet. Twenty feet. If I got twenty. Good. Six dollars. Oh, you tell the after the business. Ten dollars. I got twenty back there. Sorry, we got to pull out big money now. We wanted to do this banquet for thirty dollars a person. As we researched, this is not a reality. Uh, we finally had to go with forty dollars, and that was only to cover the cost of the food. So we went out and we asked our alumni to help donate to the banquet. When we asked to donate, we had four categories. The first category being bronze. If Joe Reedy, please stand up. He's here with us. Uh, Bobby Saunders could not be with us tonight. He had a prior obligation. At our silver level, Perry Murphy, please stand up. Thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> Platinum was $100 plus. Sir Matt Coakley, Nat Nell Eisenberg, Sidney Fragel, Chris Godwin, Mark Jacobs, Matt King, DJ Martin, Paul Murphy, and Craig Timmons. Um, when I sent out the letters uh, months ago, we talked about the donations and that the highest donation would be awarded here tonight. Uh, of the donations, we actually received two checks for the same amount. The first check, however, was uh, his amount subtracted out $40 for the banquet. So he is our runner-up candidate, and he is here today. I would like Craig Timmons, please come forward and accept this award of appreciation, sir. The grand prize winter, winner, 
is Mark Jacobs with a donation of two hundred dollars. Is that we're going to start hosting yearly events for all of our members. Uh, we're looking at events like golf scrambles, some bowling tournaments, uh, local baseball games. So we invite all of our alumni. Uh, keep in touch. We're starting to use. The, well, they've always used the Facebook. I have recently started using the Facebook. Um, we'll be posting information there. If you don't have Facebook, um, please get with one of us. Get with me or any of the BOG members. And make sure we have I met Perry Murphy at a national convention and said, West Virginia Tech, where is that? He said, Montgomery, West Virginia. I said, well, I know where you are. Well, I, apparently I was one of the few who knew where you were. And eventually I became your domain director. It was a lot of fun. I would show up at the house on occasion 